Harvard researchers have created a new lens material that is much thinner than glass. It's made up of microscopic nanopillars arranged in a thin array to focus light very precisely to avoid blur, which can happen with glass lenses. The ultra-thin metal lens could have many applications and lead to lighter, less bulky lenses in cameras, phones and glasses. The team that developed the nanomaterial announced their first version of it during the summer of 2016. But that lens could focus only one color at a time. So if it were used in a camera, it could only take photos in one color at a time. But the researchers revised the material so that it can work within a continual spectrum of colors from blue to green, close to the spectrum of an LED. The metal lenses have the potential to produce images in much higher detail than normal glass lenses. They also correct for a common optical problem called chromatic aberration. When different colors of light travel at different speeds while passing through a lens, which can cause an image to be blurred or have colored edges around objects. Professor Federico Capasso, a professor of physics and electrical engineering at Harvard's John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences and co-author of the research, said, Traditional lenses for microscopes and camera including those in cell phones and laptops require require multiple curved lenses to correct chromatic aberrations, which adds weight, thickness and complexity. Our new breakthrough flat metal lens has built-in chromatic aberrations correction so that a single lens is required. The researchers used titanium dioxide to create the nanopillar array. These nanopillar structures allow the lens to focus wavelengths of light from 490 nanometers to 550 nanometers. The blue to green spectrum, with Without any chromatic aberration. If the material was further developed to work for all wavelengths and the visual spectrum of light, from red to violet, it could radically change the design of cameras. The material could also potentially be cheaper to make than a traditional glass lens. Zhu Junqi, a PhD student in Professor Carpasso's lab and a co-author of the research published in the journal Nano Letters, said, This platform is based on single-step lit and is compatible with high-throughput manufacturing techniques such as nano-imprinting. Harvard's Office of Technology Development has filed patent applications a range of flat lens technologies and is working with Professor Carpasso's research team to commercialize the technology through a startup company.